Hi everyone, it's Peter Zellum's Greeny Flix Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Today it's going to be about adventure travel. Yes, I can't believe it, but um, things have progressed in the world and Australia is really lucky to be able to uh, uh, control uh, the way COVID has spread. What that means is travel is possible again. However, it is different. I'm glad to say that the trooper here is ready to go for another tour. As you probably know from my past videos, I do private tours all over Australia and that's all subject to being able to travel and border crossings. But now it's time for preparation and uh, go through the entire vehicle, look at all the uh, things that I have uh, in the vehicle as far as the food, uh, equipment, uh, parts uh, so you can fix things up as you go and also just some of the uh, conveniences and lessons that I've learned over the years just little tweaks here and there to make the experience just that little bit better safer more enjoyable I guess to a certain extent it's probably my top mods after 10 years <laughs> let's talk call it the five top mods to the Troopy after 10 years of using it in Central Australia. One of those is, particularly when you get into rough arenas, like the Simpson Desert Crossing, where you're going across sand dunes, the big sand dunes, the parallel sand dunes, that's already nice, but what you don't realize, the track is constantly going like this. So that's number one is, how do you tie down your gear? So what's happening to your gear in the back? If you pack the back of the car solid, so nothing can move, perfect, no problems. But there's always some gaps there. So you have to be able to put tie down points and strap things down so it doesn't shake living daylights out of it. What I can do is I can quickly unpack here and just show you the, the tie down points. Okay, it's all unpacked. So the way I've set up the troop here is the fridge. And then I've got all this empty space here and the water containers for the water tap. Tie down points, I've created one there, down there. Also created another tie down point there. One down there, and then I use this grid that sits around the fridge and the kitchen area as a way of tying down as well. So that's been an improvement. And then you tie down the most things and then just soft luggage goes on top. So it doesn't matter with soft luggage, how much it gets thrown around. Um, but anything that is hard, camera gear, whatever, camera boxes, can all be tied down exactly as it needs to be. Tying down the skis here. But anyway, um, as you can see, we've got it all strapped down. That's strapped down, that's strapped down. Once it's all strapped down, that's all good. I even got these things strapped down here. That's also strapped down, so you can see everything is strapped down. Everything is up against cargo barriers, even though these water bottles are strapped down. Strap everything down, really important. So that's important. Get all your tied down points down. Down, tied down points, organized. Right, so that's number one. Uh, number two is ac number two is access to water. That is a constant thing, both in cleaning up stuff, uh, getting drinking water, uh, changing your water, having fresh drinking water. One of the things I did with my top mods for the Hilux, the other vehicle, and there will be links to the video above, is having a tap. <laughs> electric tap so you can have water on demand as you want it in the past I just used um, my jerry cans here and then use these little uh, nozzles that you attach and then pick it up pull it out on the ground pour it into the water bottle or whatever you wanted 
which is a really laborious task. So I have installed exactly what I've done it in the Hilux, and that is a tap, which is a simple matter of turning it on and then pressing the button. And you got instant water. Incredible. And just like in the Hilux, I've used jerry cans against the cargo barrier there so that I can have multiple cans, uh, control the quality of the water, uh, lift out the can if I need to or access it through one of the windows there to fill it up. Really convenient. So that's number two mod. Number three. Um, number three is power. When I first set up the, the Troopy 10 years ago, can you believe it, 10 years ago? It's gone around Australia about two or three times now. Uh, across the Simpson Desert, I think three times, up the Canning Stock Route, the Gun Barrel Highway, Cape York, uh, all over the place. Designed 10 years ago, the requirements on power and photography and computers was quite different. Whereas now we, we have everything that's electronic and that needs to be charged. So yes, I do have a dual battery system in here. Pretty basic, so it just flicks in between the main battery and the auxiliary battery when there's enough power in the main battery and when you start up the car. So that it feeds the fridge, which is really, the, and the LED lights. So really those are the only two power drains. I do have a 300 watt inverter inside just for 240 volts, but again, that's pretty low powered. But what I'm gonna do is in this space here, I'm gonna get one of those portable power packs, lithium iron power pack, which has, which has an inverter built in, 240 volts out. You can charge it from the car, you can charge it from solar panels, you can charge it, take the whole unit, just carry it inside the house and charge it up in the house as well so it's a portable power pack i will be getting one shortly and i will be doing a review on it so that's a top mod number three is that extra power to the troopy okay mod number four i think is inside and that would be putting in sheepskin covers lamb's wool cover I know people put in canvas and things like that but when it comes to comfort both in warm areas as well as cold areas and particularly on longer sections where you have to sort of drive between certain points there is no substitute to having a lamb's wool cover it's so comfortable it's um, it just makes the journey so much more enjoyable and the great thing about these yes okay they do potentially get dirty depending on where you are and how muddy or how dusty things are but they can be washed and it's brilliant so that would be my top mod number four is putting in lambs wool covers on your seats both in your front and also in the back now as you can see yeah I've got uh, lambs wool in the back here and uh, that's because I do private tours which means I have people that travel with me sometimes it's one person so passenger seat that I'm in right now front passenger but sometimes a, a couple or maybe a kid or two and um, I need the back seat as well so that's the reason why the troopy and the way I've set up the troop is that I can have still carry up to five people but four people is good three people is fantastic two people is wonderful and when I do private tours by myself <laughs> <laughs> me myself and I um, yeah so that's number four the comfort inside the car sheepskin covers all right and I guess it brings me to the last observation or mod best mod for the last 10 years on the troopy and i think everyone talks about this is just get enough lights around the place i've got led lights everywhere and it's time for replacing some of these but these are in covers and you can see how over a period of time they get really dusty and dirty but they still work light still comes out through them enough for night time 
but I, I will be replacing those. The other thing, little things is I've um, put in extra lights um, inside the car as well. Floor lights. So that at night time you can actually see what's on the floor. And, okay, not that the colours really matter too much. I've got red ones on the driver's side. And blue ones on the passenger side. And the even ones at the back here. So that at night time, there's just enough ambient light on the floor there. So if anything drops on the floor, you can actually see what's going on. And then there's lights at the top as well. Uh, because these standard lights in the troop are just useless. And then also for my passenger. There you go, lights here as well. And then lights there as well. So it's all about lights. So having lights inside, outside, on the floor. As many as you can possibly imagine that's what you want when it comes to lighting and it's subtle lighting that is really important you don't want them too bright you don't want it too dull and it's only through time that you actually work out what you need so that's it my five most refined mods <laughs> over 10 years of crossing australia they were really simple i hope you found that useful uh, there'll be more on this coming out shortly as I prepare further with my uh, tour around Australia coming up. In fact, the tours start in April. Yes, yeah, so my next tour will be in end of April and then there will be another one in May, all both going out to Central Australia. Exactly the journey and the route will be determined on, the, on borders right now. The borders are open, it just says a whole bunch of restrictions you have to go through and um and then the rest of the year is going to be interesting so if if the the concept of a private tour is of interest do contact me um basically a private tour means we have a discussion about the type of adventure you're looking for and how much luxury how much comfort you want uh, how adventurous you want the journey to be what sort of locations you want to go to and then we together we design the tour and make it as interesting as possible there is always a, a video that is created it's good for your own uh, memories and also one of um, that can be used as educational entertainment on my youtube channel as well so do contact me if that's of interest to you. Um, you can always go contact me via YouTube or you can also go to my website adventure8.com.au On a photographic side, where I publish a lot of my work is peterzalums.com from a photographic point of view. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it's the first time to my channel, please do subscribe, press notifications. Uh, so when the next video is out, you will find it, you will see it. I welcome um, a thumbs up, that helps the channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.